Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we, who have known the mystery of that light on earth, may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven where with you in the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. And in there, the same country's shepherds were biding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, came the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And and they were sore afraid. And the angel of the Lord said, Fear not, for behold, I I bring you great deeds of great joy. What shall be to all people, and on to you was born this day in the city of David, which is Christ your Lord. A big story is breaking in Bethlehem. While people are flowing into the city for the census, other unusual things are happening. 
Channel 7 is reporting live from Bethlehem on December 24th to share news of angels appearing to shepherds, royalty arriving in a caravan, and talk of a Savior's birth. Tune in for all the important details. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Channel 7 News. We interrupt tonight's scheduled broadcast to bring you breaking news of some very unusual happenings in our little town of Bethlehem. As you know, Emperor Caesar Augustus issued a decree calling for a census of the entire Roman Empire. People are flooding into their towns to be counted, and Bethlehem is no exception. We have our reporters, Griffin and Isabella, in the city ready to tell us what's going on. Let's go to Griffin. That's right, Eleanor. We've been, we've been roaming the city all day and night, and let me tell you, the city is full of people and animals. It's crazy. The, the, census, is, the census is certainly good for business, but if anyone coming into town is going to find it nearly impossible to find a bed to sleep in tonight. Are you recording? Am I on? Um, okay. Well, we came through the city with our sheep, and it was so loud and so crazy that they all scattered off. I didn't know sheep could run so fast. We've been chasing them down for hours. My feet are killing me. We finally got them all corralled out there, the hill, out there in the hills where it's quiet. We found a soft patch of glass and closed our eyes to get a little sleep. Out of nowhere, the, the sort of whooshing sound was right next to my ear. I opened my eyes, and this fall from my face was an angel, an honest-to-goodness angel with wings and a halo, and, well, I couldn't believe my eyes. Then two more fluttered down, and, well, I was speechless. They said, Hey, wake up. We need to talk to you. I know seeing one angel is overwhelming, and seeing three of us as well probably terrifying, but what we have to say is important, so pay attention. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. It's a message for all people everywhere. Today in the city of David, a baby is born. He is the savior of all people. Look up in the sky. There is a star. The star will lead you to the baby. Get up. Go. You will find the baby in a manger wrapped in cloth. Do you see what I mean? This is historic. The shepherds left immediately, well after they recovered from the shock. And the angel fluttered away. I mean, really fluttered. I went back into the city and, and to investigate the story further and found the town's historian looking very excited. Here's what I learned. Are we on? Am I on film? Uh, okay. Good evening. I, uh, started looking into our stories from long ago and there seems to be something unfolding here. In the book of Micah, it says, Bethlehem, though you are small among the, the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me, one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old ancient times. And then Moses was telling the Israelites, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own brothers. You must listen to him. I saw a young couple walking through the city, and she was great with child. I think this may very well be the baby we await. But that's not all. After talking to the historian, I received a message from my colleague Isabella on the other side of town. Here's her report. I too have been wandering Bethlehem, talking to people when I saw a very large caravan moving through the streets. They looked like royalty. They were crowned full of jewels and were carrying gifts of some sort. When they stopped to water their camels, I approached them and asked them who they were and what they were doing here at Bethlehem. This is what they told me. Greetings. We come to you from far, far away. We are seekers of knowledge and we study the stars. In all our years, we have never seen a star like the one over your city. We believe it is something very, very special. We have been traveling for many, many days. From all of our studies, we believe a king is to be born in this city, and the star is leading us to him. We have come prepared with gifts, the finest gifts we, can, we could find, gold, frankincense, and ball. I've never seen such a magnificent caravan. I started to follow them through the streets and realized I had not yet found a place to stay for the night. I stopped at a shabby little inn close to the edge of town. I was really just interested in a place to stay for the stay. But once Innkeeper stopped yelling at me for waking her up, I got some unexpected, unexpected information. Here's how it happened. What do you mean knocking on my door at this time of night? Can't you see the sign that says no room? 
I had just gotten comfortable. My pillow was just the right amount of fluffy. My blanket was pulled up to my chin. My feet were finally warm. And then you come along and bang on my door. I've had that that sign up all day. People keep knocking anyway. The last people that knocked on my door, I felt kind of bad for. They looked so tired, and they were clearly expecting a child. And soon, I had just rented my last room, but they were desperate. I gave them a space out, out back with the animals. The hay can make for a soft place to lay, and there is a tiny major in case the, their baby arrives tonight. They were glad to have it. Now move along so I can get back to my cozy bed. Well, this story has certainly become about more than just the census. What do you think it all means? Wait, I hear something. Is that singing? I hear singing coming from my earpiece. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. All is bright round yon virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heaven. Do you see what I mean? This kind of thing is happening all over the place. Isabella and I are going to find where that star leads. I think our answers are all there. Well, while they're making their way to the star, we have an announcement from our sponsor. Clean, clean, clean your teeth, clean them every day. Shepherds need to have fresh breath or sheep will start to stray. Scrub, 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 you might use your brush a lot. Even in the busy fields where your teeth will start to rot. Brush, 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 brush them good, brush them until they beam. If you want your teeth to shine, be sure to use Star Clean. Well, those are certainly some bright teeth, weren't they? Back to the situation at hand. Griffin has made his way to a new location and is waiting to share what he's learned. Let's check in. Well, Eleanor, we've found the stable and I can't believe my eyes. The couple the innkeeper spoke about are heel. here. This is a st simple stable surrounded by animals. Let's listen. Ba, 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 ba. Woof. 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 Bark, 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 bark. I know it's not much, Mary, but at least it's warm and safe. We can rest here for a while. Perhaps we'll have better luck tomorrow. I'm, I'm very tired, Joseph. I'm thankful for this place to rest, even if it's nothing more than a stable. It's peaceful. The animals will quiet soon. I think the baby may come tonight. Griffin and I will keep our eyes on the situation and update you as things develop. We interrupt your evening again to bring you a special report from our field reporters, Griffin and Isabella. Eleanor, it happened. It really happened. I'd fallen asleep next to one of the sheep when I heard a tiny little cry. The cry of a baby. I looked in the manger and here, here he was. A little tiny baby boy. And then shepherds, the stargazers from the east, began to arrive. They brought gifts of all kinds. And don't forget the angels. Angels were seen fluttering around about in tiny halos of light surrounding the major. The Savior has truly been born right here in Bethlehem. I like to say this is the end of the story, Eleanor. But I have a feeling it's only the beginning. Sounds like this story will continue. We'll be your eyes and ears here in Bethlehem. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. We at Channel 7 thank you for watching. Good night. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We are so glad that you are with us this afternoon on this
the eve of the Feast of the Nativity. I hope you enjoyed that pageant. Uh, The work that went into it is incredible, and we are so grateful both for Susie Kaufman and her creativity and Michael Sanchez and his technology. Please remember that we will be offering Come to the Table beginning at 4.30 in the upper parking lot where you can come in your car and receive communion. We are glad that you are with us today and we hope for you a very blessed Christmas season. But do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ, your only son, to be born for us. By the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him, you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. 
Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with the blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Joseph and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of all your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. And now... As our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. The gifts of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God, who sent his Son to take our nature upon him, bless you in this holy season. Scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your heart in the light of his holiness.
May God, who sent his angels to proclaim the good news of the Savior's birth, fill you with joy and make you heralds of the gospel. May God, who in the word made flesh, joined heaven to earth and earth to heaven, give you God's peace and favor. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this night and always. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing on the incarnation of God. Mm -hmm.